Well, I guess it has been a long overdue time for a new video, so time to start this up again. Alright, come on, come on, come on, start your bloody thing. Ah, there we go. Cartoon characters. We all have our own favourite animated stars, don't we? But let's face it, there's some out there that we just love to hate. And one cartoon character who has taken up the number one spot of hottest of hated dogs in animation is Scrappy-Doo. Hi, I'm Scrappy-Doo! Which is ironic as he was the very reason why the Scooby-Doo franchise was saved from getting the axe when it approached the 1980s. Mm -hmm. Uncle Scooby? When you look into Scrappy-Doo's development history, you can't help but feel sorry for the poor pup because it wasn't an easy development cycle. As documented by animation writer Mark Evanair, who is a very good animation writer having written for Garfield and Friends, you can read all about Scrappy-Doo's troubled development on his website, which I'll leave a link to in the description of the video. It's rather insightful and a fascinating read, yet if you mention Scrappy-Doo online, it just starts a debate of this character was always bad, even though I personally think this is untrue. It's what modern media has established with the live-action James Gunn Scooby-Doo films, where he was, spoiler alert, the bad guy of the movie, and depicted as an annoying nuisance. This then started a whole narrative of Scrappy-Doo is bad. <laughs> as if we were all brainwashed into thinking that Scrappy-Doo was a terrible inclusion to the Scooby-Doo franchise and should have been written off from the start. Listen, I'm a Scrappy-Doo stan myself, having grown up on the Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo series, and it might be from a vague early childhood memories as a toddler, but I really like this series, and was quite fond of Scrappy-Doo myself. It was a nice contrast to the cowardly Scooby and Shaggy, always ready to put a ghost in place and not back down. As someone who is a sheepish and shy person, I found it cool to have a little Scrappy character to help understand what being confident and bold is like. What ruined Scrappy more so was the oversaturation of Scrappy-Doo in Scooby Media, where it became the full-on Scrappy-Doo show and the rest of the characters were just not there and took a backseat. I would even suggest that the reason Scrappy-Doo is so hated was due to his mishandling and one of the biggest crimes in animation. Bad writing with the writers who didn't know how to write Scrappy-Doo correctly versus when he was well roundly written in his first season. I feel it's a very mainstream thing to say Scrappy-Doo sucks without any real reason or logic other than someone said so, and now he's universally seen as bad. It is nice to enjoy the change of tide in the relentless Scrappy-Doo bashing, as the recent rotten Scooby-Doo reboot series Velma ended with another Scrappy-Doo is a monster trope. But because the Velma series was so poorly received, Scrappy-Doo was seen as a saviour in this instance, so it felt good to be a Scrappy-Doo fan for once. Which is nice to see him go from full circle of bad, rabid, unnecessary Scrappy-Doo flame wars to yeah, he's alright actually, which could do well for his chances in new Scooby-Doo media. But it did get me thinking as to what other cartoon characters out there that we all hate, or are there any other unwelcome additions that ruined a show? The earliest example I could think of is the Great Gazoo from the Flintstones. And just look at him! He's smug, arrogant and annoying to look at. A really bad addition to the Flintstones, and less said about his live action counterpart the better. <laughs> Other characters that I find often get the shaft of online vitriol hate, for no real reason other than it's cool to hate them, is often the comic relief characters like Snarf or Orko. Though I personally would argue that Snarfer, the nephew of Snarf, is a better candidate for disliking than the ever worrisome nanny Snarf, with his very whiny and annoying voice. Yes, I was recently shocked to find out that one of my favourite animated characters is really unliked and was so bad she nearly caused a great rift in the writing staff and team of the Rugrats because of how they handled her character. People hated her, even one half of the Klasky Kupo team wanted her gone or to be written softer as a compromise. But why though? Personally I find her mean streak endearing, her nasty spoiled rich kid daddy's little princess character creates great discord for the babies, you just get hooked on her awful mean spirited antics. She's a little bitch! Just aim for the very tip of the foot. Well, I don't know Angelica. Yet it's her mean spirited heart that makes her so good. Sure she does some awful things, but she always gets what's coming to her. She never goes unpunished, and when her downfall comes it's so satisfying to watch. Not fair! It's not fair! 
and she's not without heart, and she has come through for the babies at times, even defending them from worse kids. No way! I came here to get these babies, and I'm not leaving till I get them all! Oh yeah? Yeah! Oh yeah? Yeah! Oh yeah! But no, let's hate on her for being too mean. We don't like mean characters that cause drama or tension or decent stories for episodes and make them the reason why we enjoy watching the things we do so much. Let's not have conflict and just have static air of the characters not facing anything than just doing nothing. We don't need a mean character. So maybe the argument is sometimes we do need characters that are unlikable to make the show worth watching. I don't really know what kind of point I'm making here other than just don't badmouth certain characters just because popular internet opinion says so, and leave Scrappy Doo alone. I think I just wanted a video to blabber on about. Maybe in the next video I'll go on about the Woody Woodpecker show, as that's quite popular recently due to its 30th anniversary. Though I have to admit I do have one cartoon character that I really hate, Tribor Mendez from Final Space. Cannot stand that alien. He's really irritating and is a bit of a Mary Sue, always wins in the situation no matter what. Which is so annoying because he started out as this dumb fun looking alien and ends up more annoying than Kevin and I just can't stand his presence on the screen. Sorry to you Final Space fans but he just really irks me. But what about yourselves? Are there any animated characters that you hate? Or are there any out there that you just think are unjustly hated for no reason? Why not write below in the comments and have a wee debate with yourselves of what character you hate or what character you don't think should be hated. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!